Joining us right now is Jeremy Siegel. He is Professor Emeritus of Finance at University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. And, and Jeremy, let's just uh, point out for anybody who hasn't been listening, and I, you know, maybe they're new viewers, you have been saying for quite a while that the Fed really needs to slow down. If the CPI number today comes in negative, let's say, I guess that really adds some fuel to the fire behind your argument. Yes, and good morning, Becky. I, I think we have to realize how much upward biased the reported CPI is. Uh, the shelter part of the CPI, which is the biggest single part, it's uh, almost one third of the CPI. It's over 40 percent of that core index. Uh, for the last three months, it's averaged plus 0.7 percent in the Fed's debt because they use lag debt. But if you use current debt, if you use Case Shiller uh, housing data, if you use the Federal Housing Authority data, if you use the Zillow rental index, if you use the apartment list rental index, they're all down 0.7 percent per month. Um, and, and so what, what you have is an upward distortion, just like in 2020, 2021, you had a big downward distortion in how much inflation we actually had much more than the Fed and, and the government reported. We are actually having much less today. You really should be subtracting about three tenths, four tenths off of that index to get current inflation, which would put not only the overall, which you're right, is expected to be down 0.1 percent, but actually even the core. Now, it's expected to be up three tenths of a percent, but that's because I think we're going to see another plus 0.6 plus 0.7 in that shelter. And that is going to be in that index for almost a year. So by looking at the lag way the Fed looks at housing, it's overestimating that inflation. And that's one of the reasons why I say they've got to slow down. We are in a negative inflation mode right now. What happens if the CPI is hotter than anticipated? Well, you know, the market thinks the Fed is is eventually going to get it. <laughs> they're a little slow at this, but they're eventually going to. I mean, there has been discussion at the Fed about that housing index, um, and I've been bringing it up for for months and months and months. Um, and I, I think they're saying, you know, really on the ground there isn't as much inflation. Now, some people say we're going to have to see. You know, the, the the actual labor market decline before the Fed actually does something. Um, I also think, by the way, the Fed's infatuation now with real wages is wrong. Now, we're people don't talk about it, but at 830, which is 15 minutes from now, we're also going to get real wages and they're going to be negative year over year. The the worker is in catch up mode. I think that that uh, Jay Powell is way too concerned about the wage part contributing inflation. Workers are trying to catch up to inflation. We have a labor shortage. We need that wages to go down. It is wrong for the Fed to crush the market, uh, uh, crush wages uh, when the worker is trying to catch up. And there is a, is a structural uh, labor shortage, which Powell himself has admitted. So, um, you know, on both fronts, should not be looking at wages. That's a structural issue that the Fed shouldn't address. If he looks at the actual rate of inflation with good housing data, not the lagged housing data, we are in a deflationary mode. It is the time to stop raising rates. You're right. If we come in above these numbers, certainly the initial market reaction will be negative. But I think a closer look, we'll see how much the, that the shelter will go up, even though it should be going down. And I think people looking at the whole picture will say, you know what, we basically have, have won the job. We've got to let wages rise. There'll be a little more inflation on that front, but that's structural. The Fed should not be pushing those down. 13 minutes and 10 seconds, and we'll be getting the answer to that. Jeremy, thank you for joining us ahead of that. Great to see you.